Hi, I hope everyone's well. So I've been quite quiet on here because I have had a full on weekend, uh, the most amazing retreats, uh, coaching experience, fully immersive. Um, and yeah, it was phenomenal. And I wanted to jump on here and talk to you guys about some of the things we spoke about. So we spoke about many things and most of the things you can apply to life and your core confidence and relationships. Um, but some of the things I really thought that I could bring and adapt into my coaching business as well and to when I work with instructors. So I wanted to jump on here today and talk to you guys about state. So emotional state, physical state and how we may not always be in the optimal state when we wake up in the morning. We might not feel like going to the gym. We may not feel whatever we need to feel to do whatever it is we want to do. And there are actually three ways that we can alter our state. Um, and this can go towards some way towards pain management as well. So we can use physiology to alter our state. We can use focus to alter our state and we can use action. Now, I think the one that probably most stands out to me as a physical therapist and a Pilates instructor is the physiology one. So I'm going to really delve into that today and then maybe come back and talk to you guys about the other two another day. But the physiology can mean movement, can mean breathing. It could even mean changing the environment that you're in. So we know that as fitness instructors, Pilates instructors in particular, that if we alter breathing or encourage someone to breathe more optimally, and by that we mean the smoothness of breath, the tempo of the breath, the quality of the breath, so that diaphragmatic three-dimensional breath that works along with all of the other structures in the body. Remember, breath doesn't just happen here. Breath aids all the other viscera and aids all the other tissues in the body and influences all the other tissues in the body. So if we can alter our breath, we can alter all the other structures and viscera within the body. We can alter how, we, how our skin feels. We did an exercise on this retreat that I was on each morning about uh, uh, just two minutes uh, of the certain type of breathing and I had tingling in my body and I felt, I did feel a bit lightheaded, but we were told that was completely normal. And it, but it was all because we were ultimately changing our breath patterns and improving the quality of our breath, which, you know, I'm hands up, guilty as charged. I'm not great at breathing well, all right? I'm rush, 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 go, go, go. And actually when it comes to calming things down, that's the part of, you know, that I really struggle with. And I think our clients struggle with that as well. Um, so the point here is that actually we have all the tools as Pilates instructors that we need to really influence someone's mental state and physical state and even maybe help with their pain or help to manage their pain. And that can be done via the breath. Through altering their physiology, we can change the state they're in, both mentally and physical, physically, and hopefully improve it. So I hope that this has been helpful. I know that sometimes teaching breath, particularly to new clients, can be a little bit like banging your head against a brick wall, but maybe this will now start to give you additional layers in which to help push the sale forward. Let me know how you get on.